What's up guys, JDLB here and I'm back finally with another video now. We've got a new hobby and it's not one that you hear often to be honest but it is magnet fishing. Now I got this magnet off Amazon for about £50, no, 45 sorry. I think it's a 250 or 200kg poor magnet, I don't know what that means, I know nothing about magnets but it really looks interesting. I've been watching That's Brad, um, Just Ash, and World War II Wendell. And I really enjoy the videos and I really want to get into it. But this isn't really tightening all the way. So if anybody's got anything, I could like have a few tips or something on how to tighten that more. I was thinking about putting super glue on the thread and then pulling it in. Let me know what you guys think about me doing that. But let's get to it. What you're going to need is a magnet, of course, and rope. This is 30 foot rope off Amazon for £6.50 or was it £8.50? I'm not too sure. Now, I've already done this once because I practiced turning the knot. <laughs> um, I can't get the knot out to actually redo it. So, wait, I'm just going to describe it anyway. Get a, me a meter. Of rope, it's obviously going to be longer than that, it's a bit like that. But get a meter of rope, then you want to do is you want to tie a knot just like that. There you go. Then, next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your magnet and simply just put it through the hole like that. Then, you're going to open that up. Get all your rope and literally just put the rope through the hole. That is literally all you've got to do. And then you'll get like this little pattern like this and literally just boom. There you go. That easy. Now, I'm sorry about that but I couldn't undo it and there's nothing much I can really do about that, but you're going to be left with this kind of gap. And what you want to do is, and with that, what you want to do is you want to get some waterproof tape, or you're going to want to get, um, oh, what they're called? My mind is completely drawn a blank. Cable toys, you want to get, you get tape, cable toys. I'm using cable toys at the minute until my rope actually come rope until my tape actually comes so yep it looks like they're going to be using this till it comes so what you want to do is you want to put that i'm thinking about like every half a finger length going up just make sure there are no gaps like that where like twigs and rocks can get stuck and then you'll be breaking your rope and all that so that is that. I'm not going to put them on there at the minute because I've not got any scissors to cut the cable ties with or a knife or anything like that. But I do, I do suggest using scissors over a knife. And we're going to actually quickly see how strong this magnet is now. I've got a safe, if you can hear it. I've got a safe and it is like full with coins out of my coin collection and just regular change. And it can pick that up, and my safe weighs about fifteen pound. And it can pick that up. So to test how strong it is, we've got a few little bits of metal. That's pure. That is one hundred percent steel from my work. Listen, and we got that. These have been in a barrel, which ranges off the edges and gives it a silver shiny finish. Hold shot last. So we're going to see how strong it actually is. Oh, I can feel it pulling right there. That is really wanting to go on that. Oh! And that was pretty strong. <laughs> I can't get it off. Oh my God, that's on there. No, that ain't coming off. That is proper on there. I wonder if it can... 
Mm, that one ain't so strong as that one on there. But that is completely on there. Look, I can't even just slow you off. No way. Let me just, if I put it a little bit, if I put it on my safe like that. No, it don't even come off then. Oh my god, that is completely on there, but I'll get that off. And these are actually pretty strong, like we've got another piece of steel there. I got these from work, just purpose this for this video. I've not got like random pieces of steel in my bedroom. Oh, it's got that, can it get that as well? Oh, nearly, but it can. Kind of just like, it wants to, but it won't. No, it ain't gonna get that. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, Google. What's the strongest fishing magnet you can get? Sorry, I don't understand. Google box. Okay, Google. What's the strongest type of fishing magnet you can get? My apologies, I don't understand. Okay, Google. Go away. Okay, I'm off. Cheerio. <laughs> it understands that, but we're going to be finding some research on some good magnet soon. We're going to be getting some good spots to magnet fish and you're going to be seeing a lot of these videos, but they're not going to be every day. They might be like every once every three days or once a week because I do work full time in the week and I do have my daughter on weekends. So I'll try and get them done when I can and I hope that you guys like the change from gaming to something outdoorsy like this. I will continue to the games as well, but I do want to mainly focus on magnet fishing because it's really interesting. You're not going to know what you're going to find. And it's just different. Like, you don't see that many people doing it. It's like, it's, it's good. That's what I can really explain it. It's good. So, give us a video a thumbs up if this helped in any way or you liked it. I'm sorry about that. That is like the main part and I've just completely ruined it. But I'm pretty sure that you know how to tie a knot like that generally in rope. So, yeah. So if you like this video, I'll give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with any suggestions on how to make that secure more. Because at the minute, it just completely like undoes it undoes so easily. So if anybody's got any tips on how to do that, then comment down below and let me know. And thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully, we'll have some magnet fishing videos very soon.